What's up, babes? Hi, lady apes, gentlemen apes. This is Ape Andy. Um, love both AMC and GME. Now, um, the trading day of July 16th has concluded, and um, for both AMC and GME, many puts options had expired OTM out of the money. Now, this is certainly not very good for the SHF, SHITTY hedge funds. Now, um, the theory is that, um, actually it's not theory, it's almost the fact, the truth, except I can't verify it for you. Um, many, many shares shorted were FTDs failed to deliver, and they were hidden inside uh, put options. How does that work? Um, a review. Um, shares were all bought up by the retail. Uh, I don't have any shares, but I want to short. Fine. Uh, regulatory body says you can short as long as you can find a locate. I know you don't have any more shares in your hand, but as long as you can find a locate, yes, SHF, you may short. So the SHF, they um, write up call options and they write up put options because this is HF, it's also an MM, it has MM market maker powers. So they write up call options, they write up put options, same strike price, okay? And um, like $50, like $100 like uh, $0.5 for GME as an example, okay? Same principle applies to AMC. So um, the strike price at 0 0.5, strike price at 50, strike price at 100, call options, put options, okay? And then they exercise the call options, right? Because the call options is in the money, ITM. You exercise one call option, oh, you have 100 shares, create it out of thin air. Can they do that legally? Yes. You check FINRA, it's called synthetic short position. Now, okay, they have 100 shares created out of thin air um, because they have a locate in the put options, okay? Uh, they sell that 100 shares, short it, right? Okay, and so you can't see that call option anymore because it has been exercised. The put option stays there, that's what we see. And so all these put options have the purpose of um, providing locates for those shares. Now, once these put options, which they had already expired OTM out of the money, those shares have no more locates. You have to take care of that share. Remember, 100 shares created out of thin air because there was a locate in the put options, okay, so short. Now those 100 shares created out of thin air have no more locates because the put option expired OTM. Aha, uh -huh. how many were there? Well, on July 16th expired, probably the figure would be near 40 million shares because 400,000 put contracts expired out of the money. That's quite a lot. So um, those shares 40 million shares of GME has to be taken care of starting next week. Starting next week. So the SHF maybe is it possible that they'll try to kick the can down the road. But given DGCC rule 005 is in place and effective, you have to pick up the old can, take care of it, create new can to kick down the road. You cannot kick the old can directly down the road. Used to be, but you could without DTCC rule 005. So how do they pick up the old can and take care of it? The SHF might have to buy back. We'll wait and see. What happens when the SHF try to buy back 40 million shares? Oh, okay. 
So, 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 hey, Bandy, are you saying that um, the SA Drift might buy back 40 million shares? Price goes up. That's the time I could sell. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not giving investment advice. That's the time the retail must not sell. Why, why, why? Why, hey, Bandy? The demand is 40 million shares. Buy, 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 take care of it. If the retail sell, now I'm not giving you financial advice, I'm saying retail, okay? Other people, not you watching the video, other retails. If they sell, then the demand will be met. If the retail shares in your hand, right? If you don't sell, the supply is low. The demand is high. Shoots up the price even further. Retail, don't sell. So, so when the price goes down, mm, you feel depressed, disappointed, buy and hold. When the price goes up, when the price starts to go up, the mistake that most retail makes is that, ah, oh, price go up, sell. Sell too early. Sell too early. Don't sell. Buy and hold even stronger when the price goes up. So the demand is very, so the demand is very, very high. Supply is very, very low. This shoots up the price more. This logic, I'm sure you understand. So when the price goes up, that is because the SHF must take care of those 40 million shares that had more, had no more low case. And if at this time, the retail not you watching the video because I can't give you financial investment advice. If this time in the retail, buy and hold even stronger, grip and hold even stronger. Imagine the supply going very low, demand very high. What does that tell you about the squeeze factor? Remember the VW squeeze factor, 20% short interest, 1% tradable float, not held by Porsche and the German government. If the retail could buy and hold even stronger, or just hold even stronger, no matter how high the price shoots up, because this is just the initial stage, then, oh, what was the short interest again? Well, back in January, the data, very evident, was 140% short interest. And if the retail of <coughs> GME, the overall principle applies to AMC. If the retail of GME, they hold, they don't pay per hand, the price goes up. Hmm. I'm gonna decrease my supply for you even more. I'm not gonna sell, not gonna sell, not gonna sell, not gonna sell, not gonna sell. Okay, so all these retail don't sell. Then the tradable float would be even less than the volume that we see nowadays. So, the tradable float, if you hold on tight, oh, I mean, I'm not a, I, I can't give you investment advice. If the retail hold on tight, stronger than Porsche and German government, then the tradable float would, okay, let's say equal to 1% tradable float. Only 1% is left tradable. All the other 99% are held by retail, diamond hands, non-paper hands then the squeeze factor of GME would be 140% divided by 1. That is a squeeze factor of 140. Um, and the VW squeeze factor was 20. So GME would squeeze to seven times as much the magnitude of VW. Imagine that. If retail knows this, this is, and, and you see the price shoots up. Um, I know we're down from 300 something from June 9th earnings report. So this downward, doesn't it look like the VW downward just before the squeeze of VW? I'm still not giving you dates for GME Moaz because I don't know the date for GME Moaz. I don't have a crystal ball. Okay. Um, apes of AMC, apes of GME, just hold on to your shares.
price goes up, hold on even tighter to decrease the supply for the SHF covering, then the price will go higher. Remember, initial stage of squeeze, okay? The mistake that retail makes is selling too early. As you've read on Reddit post, sell on the way down, right? Hey, Bandy agrees, totally agrees. Apes of NC and apes of GME, love you. Be strong.